Okay, so this is the uh, first figure it out question for chapter 8. This one is super simple. Um, the primary things that you have to remember here is that um, in a perfectly competitive market, the marginal revenue equals price, and you have to remember that profit equals total revenue minus total costs. So let's go through it. Uh, the first part um, says that uh, consumers are indifferent uh, between producers. We're talking about the haircut market here, and there are hundreds of barbers in market. Uh, the equilibrium price is P equals $15, and Bob's Barbershop, which is one of the barbershops in the market, has this short run total cost function of 0.5 Q squared, and its marginal cost is equal to Q. So the first part asks how many haircuts should Bob give to maximize profit pi? Um, I don't think I said this in the lecture videos, but um, the Greek letter pi is what uh, economists use um, as shorthand for profit. So how do we do this? Uh, the first step is to remember that the profit maximizing quantity for a uh, firm is when marginal revenue equals marginal cost, okay? Since we're talking about a perfectly competitive market, we have to remember that uh, marginal revenue is equal to price because the producers don't get to set their own price, they're given the price that's in the market. In this case, that's 15, as it says in the question itself. So we have 15, substituting back into this first equation here, 15 for marginal revenue equals, we already said, uh, the question gives you that marginal cost is equal to Q. So 15 equals Q. And that's your answer. Super simple. Uh, just remember marginal cost equals marginal revenue. That's your profit maximization condition. And then substitute in whatever your marginal revenue is. In this case, it's just the price, which equals 15. And because this is a super simple example, uh, marginal cost just equals Q. So when you substitute in the marginal cost, it gives you your answer, basically. Okay. The next part, it asks, how much uh, will Bob earn in profit each day? In order to find profit, like I said at the start, profit equals total revenue minus total costs. We can substitute in total revenue as always just the price times the quantity. And the question gives us 0 0.5 Q squared as the total cost. Again, this is just a simple substitution problem. Now, we found before that Q was equal to 15, and the problem gives us uh, P is equal to 15. So we can just substitute in. We have our total revenue is 15 times 15, and our total cost is 0 0.5. 15 squared if you do that out you should end up with 225 minus 100 112 dollars and 50 cents so Bob's profit is one hundred and twelve dollars and fifty cents. And you're done. Like I said, this is a pretty simple example. Um, the next one's going to be a little bit more difficult, uh, but there's a pop-up question that looks just like this. Uh, I think the total cost function is a little more complicated than 0 0.5 Q squared, um, but hopefully that doesn't trip you up too much. It's always just uh, substitution.